Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, ladies and gentlemen, I want to really welcome you to a really good edition of Michael Myers Post Raw Radio Show. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible night we are going to have. This is the final Raw till, no, uh, till Night of Champions. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you a little bit about some other stuff here in a bit. But, ladies and gentlemen, joining with us here tonight with me, he is my colleague from the WWE Slam Zone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he is all the way from Fort Hill, South Carolina. Travis Nilly, say hello to the fans. What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day, and I hope it ain't raining in your area because it's been raining here in my area in uh, South Carolina for a little bit. It's so cloudy and gloomy today. But I hope everybody's having an awesome day. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna. Uh, we've got a some breaking news. We will talk about here in a bit um, about something to do with one of the WWE Hall of Famers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and get into our Monday Night Raw uh, prediction show. Uh, prediction, uh, bold predictions, uh, stuff that we think should happen tonight on Raw. Our uh, first one is going to be um, there is a Divas Tag Team match. It would be AJ Lee and Brie Bella taking on the Divas Champion um, Paige and Nikki Bella. As you guys know, Nikki Bella will be part of a triple threat match for the WWE Divas title match. Um, to me, this is going to be a really good, um, somewhat of a good Divas tag match to get ready for Night of Champions. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to predict that AJ Lee and Brie Bella might win this match, but I might go with uh, Paige and um, Nikki. So, uh, Travis, who are your, what, are your, uh, what is your prediction for the Divas Tag Match that's being scheduled for tonight? I'm going to go with uh, Paige and Nikki Bella for the win here. Uh, I, I think what's going to happen is Paige is probably going to get the pinball on, on uh, AJ Lee, or or it could or, or it could have Nikki uh, pin uh, Brie. But um, you know, I see I see Paige uh, beating and pinning um, AJ Lee. That way, you know, Nikki Bella will probably have a fight on the outside, and that happens probably. So that's my uh, prediction. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, some little news that's been on uh, WWE on some of the wrestling websites uh, that's been going around. Um, that there's uh, the first one we'll talk about is that we possibly might be seeing two NXT superstars coming up this um, coming up on Raw and SmackDown. So pretty much we're having a NXT takeover for Raw and SmackDown. Now this is really good. Um, the two superstars that we're going to be talking about is uh, Tyler Breeze and Sami Zayn. Uh, first one is uh, Tyler Breeze, as we knew, as we talked about last week on Friday Night SmackDown before, after, or after the NXT review show, that there will be um, that Tyler Breeze will be joining uh, with the Miz to be like an entourage, be part of his entourage. Um, this will be really good to see uh, Tyler Breeze come into uh, WWE, the main roster. I mean, to me now with Triple H doing this with the NXT superstars, this is going to be really good for them to be built up for a possible. Sometimes they will be part of the main roster. Uh, but we don't know much about uh, Sami Zayn, what they're going to do much with him. So, um, Travis, what are your thoughts on the two NXT superstars that might be scheduled, that will be scheduled for Raw and SmackDown? Well, I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be awesome to see them again on the main uh, on Raw and SmackDown this week. Um, you know, like you saying, the Heller Breeze maybe 
might be with the Miz, uh, with his uh, new entourage with Damian Sandow, if you want to call him his nickname. Uh, they call him the uh, Miz Dad. Uh, it's going to be cool. I can't wait to see what they do tonight, what they do with Breeze and Sami Zayn. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to maybe do with Sami Zayn, uh, since the rumor is with Tyler Breeze. With that, maybe they might have Sami Zayn maybe team with Slur tonight, maybe, and like go out and go against uh, Sandow and mix as a possibility, or Miz and Tyler Breeze versus Sami Zayn or, and uh, Dolph Ziggler. So I, I, maybe that'll happen. I don't know, but uh, I'm glad that uh, Sami Zayn and uh, Tyler Breeze is getting their opportunity on the main roster now. Um, you know, I also heard a bit a little rumor that Adrian Neville might come into do a few shows on the main roster here and there. Not sure how true that is, but uh, can't wait. NXT is the uh, brand on the WWE Network that you can. Watch for only nine ninety nine for the low price of nine ninety nine. So, yeah, um, I love NAD and can't wait for it tonight. All right, and well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about. Uh, something else um, that we're going to be seeing tonight, uh, pretty much a segment that we will be seeing uh, is Brock Lesnar will be part of Monday Night Raw tonight. I know a lot of people were bickering. Why is he not part of doing a lot of stuff? Because, you know, you know, the thing is, I don't know. But, you know, to me, it's just I would love to see him. Uh, do a lot of stuff with uh, WWE because he is now the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, but like what jo John Cena said last Monday night, if, jo if Brock Lesnar does not show up, it will be Brock. Le it will be John Cena beating the tar out of uh, Paul Heyman. But um, Travis, what are your thoughts on on uh, Brock Lesnar coming to Raw tonight? I think it's uh, I hate that. Brock Lesnar's finally coming back. We haven't seen the champion on Raw for weeks now. Uh, to me, like I've said in the past, Brock Lesnar should have never got the title. I mean, because he's a part-time guy in the WWE, and, you know, he don't come there every week. He comes basically for the last Raw and the pay-per-view that, that week. So, you need a champion on the show each and every week, and I think that was wrong. They, they took the title from uh, John Cena, which they should have kept it on there on him because, you know, he's on the show every, every week on Raw. Uh, you know, not so much on down sometimes, but mostly Raw. But um, this is what I have to say. I know a lot of people hate John Cena. They crap on John Cena, but he's there, you know, like Bruce. So it's good to see Brock back tonight, but I would love to see John Cena uh, beat the crap out of Paul Heyman tonight. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to tell you guys some about some news. Um, last week, uh, it was he. Uh, this uh, this uh, WWE Hall of Famer was supposed to be at last Thursday's um, uh, WWE NXT Takeover. Uh, this is what I found on the report, and then I will give you guys a WWE uh, issues a statement on uh, Ric Flair. I uh, said it was reported last Thursday morning, just hours before the WWE NXT TakeOver event, that Ric Flair would be missing the show due to a personal conflict. Flair was scheduled to, to appear at TakeOver in a segment with Kenta, introducing him as Hito uh, Itamai. It turns out that Flair was hospitalized at Gwinnett Medical Center in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We know that Ric Flair was in the hospital as of September 9th, and the decision for him to miss takeover may not have been made until late, or late Wednesday evening, September 10th. I wasn't able to confirm why Ric Flair was hospitalized, but it may have been of some sort of a stomach surgery. A source close to the situation noted that Flair has been at the same hospital at least twice since September 3rd. Uh, as of the writing, as of this writing, WWE is still planning on having Flair work Tuesday night SmackDown tapings and Biloxi as a special referee for Roman Reigns. 
versus Ranyor and likely the dark match, a uh, dark main event. All right, but now we're going to go ahead and get into a, a WWE issues a statement um, that uh, they have here for us. So we'll go ahead and get into that. I'm just trying to get down, uh, scroll down here for a second. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, it says WWE issues the following statement on Ric Flair today. Uh, WWE legend Ric Flair is recovering from a successful surgery and will be missing tomorrow's scheduled guest referee appearance at SmackDown. Rick is doing well, and we look forward to him returning to WWE in the near future. As we reported, uh, as we reported yesterday, Flair was hospitalized at the medical center in Lawrenceville, Georgia, last week after ongoing several minor, minor surgeries. So this is one reason why uh, Ric Flair was not around. Um, WWE's um, supposed to be part of the WWE's taping on SmackDown. So, um, Travis, what are your thoughts on this news about uh, Ric Flair missing uh, NXT TakeOver and will be missing... Uh, his appearance as scheduled for as a guest referee uh, as SmackDown taping. Well, it kind of kind of stinks, you know, for the fans that you know, you know, were wanting to see him, you know, for the fans that went to take over and wanted to see him there, and at the SmackDown taping coming up for that dark match. But you know, at least he's doing better. Um, you know, I read this as well. I think yesterday, but I know the update. So I'm glad he's doing well. You know, surgeries is not fun at all. Um, I mean, it's just, I'm just glad he's doing well. I mean, I hate for the fans to uh, not be able to see him live in person. So I was wondering what was going on at TakeOver because they had to use William Regal instead of um, Ric Flair they were going to use. But I think it was a, made a lot of sense for William Regal to actually do the segment anyway, since he was the GM. But yeah, Rick Flair, I'm glad you're doing well, and I uh, can't wait to see you back. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for WWE's Raw uh, uh, post-radio show. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys um, later tonight, um, I have a special announcement that I want to tell you guys about for the month of October. Um, it's going to be really awesome. Uh, so hope you guys stay tuned for this uh, Monday Night Raw review show. It will be live this week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go live this week due to uh, the pay-per-view that is coming up of WWE's uh, Night of Champions. So we will be live tonight. So I really want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to thank um, Travis Neely for joining us with me tonight. I will see you guys on Raw's review show live on the on my Google Hangout. I will see you guys there. We will have um, Travis Neely with us and a guest ho uh, guest of Scott Casey Gale will be joining us. So good night, and we'll see you guys after the show.